Hi everyone, Mike Marbach here, and this is the Santa Rosa Toilet from Kohler. Compact in size, this Santa Rosa Toilet is perfect for those who want to fit an elongated toilet into a small space. Its one-piece design offers a distinct high-end look, and without tank seams, it's extremely easy to clean. Best of all, it's loaded with power. Rather than a standard flapper valve, this Santa Rosa Toilet features a patented flush engine. There's no flapper, which means no leaks, no problems. It's just full out power. Plus, this toilet provides 50% more rinse than previous Kohler models, giving you a cleaner bowl after every flush. Now let's talk water savings. This WaterSense certified toilet features a 1.28 gallon flush, which means you'll save about $100 a year on your water bill compared to an older three and a half gallon toilet. Another great feature of the Santa Rosa toilet is comfort height seating. Kohler comfort height toilets are about the height of a standard chair, making it much easier to sit and stand. At Kohler, we build the finest toilets you can buy. No matter which you choose, Kohler toilets are engineered to save water without sacrificing performance, and they're built to last for years to come. Kohler engineers have taken innovation to new heights with their latest development introducing Aqua Piston, the newly designed engine that drives the power and flushing performance of our toilets. Kohler engineers designed Aqua Piston with power and performance in mind. The power lies in the 3 to 2 ratio between the flush canister's inlet and outlet. Kohler engineers achieve top performance by replicating the natural arc of water over the edge of a waterfall. Aqua Piston sends water rushing into the system from a full 360 degrees upon actuation, harnessing the force of gravity and delivering Kohler's most powerful gravity-fed flush. Here, power and performance come together for a high flow rate of water rushing through the system, delivering a powerful flush through the rim and bowl, resulting in a cleaner bowl that is plug-free with no more clogs. Aqua Piston the new flush engine from Kohler. Hi guys, I'm Mike Marbach with Kohler and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Kohler Cimarron Toilet. Now what's great about this toilet is that it gives you everything you need, plus a couple of unique features you won't find with other models. First, the Cimarron offers a patented installation system called Drylock, which makes the toilet faster and easier to install. Another great feature about the Cimarron Toilet is that it's comfort height. Comfort height means the toilet from the floor to the top of the seat is just over 17 inches, which is a little taller than a standard toilet and makes it easier for standing and sitting. Now rather than a standard flapper valve, the Cimarron features a canister flush valve. That valve inside the toilet is engineered to maximize water savings and flushing performance. The canister flush valve offers durable, flapperless design, giving you a powerful 360 degree flush every time. Just flush it once and forget it. The Cimarron is also a WaterSense certified model, which means that it uses only 1.28 gallons per flush. That's a 20% savings versus a standard 1.6 gallon toilet. But if you want to see even bigger savings, use Cimarron to replace older toilets that use 3.5 gallons. No matter which option you choose, all Kohler toilets are designed to maximize flushing power, save water, and clean the bowl. And the best part, they're built to last for years to come. Installing the Kohler Persuade Comfort Height Skirted Toilet. For the installation, you will need the following tools. Pliers or wire cutter. Safety glasses. Putty knife. Adjustable wrench. Phillips and bladed screwdrivers. Drill with assorted bits. And a socket wrench with assorted sockets. You will also need the following materials. 
wax ring, 3 8 inch supply stop, T bolts, adhesive tape, and caulking. If the new toilet will not be installed immediately, temporarily place a rag in the floor flange to prevent gases from escaping into the room. This toilet requires a 12 inch minimum rough in distance from the wall to the center of the floor flange. Cut or remove the baseboard if needed so the toilet will fit against the wall and directly over the floor flange. Install or relocate a 3 8 inch supply stop 8 and 1 half inches to the left of the floor flange center and 11 and 13 16 inches measured from the floor. Use a putty knife to remove the old wax ring from the floor flange. Cut or fold the template at the front edge of the bowl outline and at the finished wall line. Adjust the finished wall cut as needed to account for any interference with the baseboard. Position the template against the wall so the dashed circle is directly over the floor flange. Use adhesive tape to carefully secure the template to the floor. Apply a piece of adhesive tape to the floor at the front edge of the toilet outline. Choose a 5 32nd inch drill bit for floors less than 1 and 1 half inches thick, or a 3 8 inch bit for floors 1 and 1 half inches thick or more. Drill two pilot holes through the template and into the floor at the locations indicated on the template. Remove and discard the template. For floors one and one half inches thick or more, insert the two anchors provided into the drilled holes. The anchors are not required for floors less than one and one half inches thick. Use a socket wrench to secure the two floor brackets to the floor with lag bolts and washers. Check for alignment between the holes in the side of the bowl and the floor brackets. To do this, lift the bowl with assistance and position it over the floor brackets and against the wall. The tip of the bowl should line up with the tape on the floor. Make adjustments to the floor brackets as needed. Carefully remove the toilet to an open and accessible area. Securely hand tighten the water supply hose to the toilet fill valve. Do not tighten the nut with a wrench. Fit and press the large rubber gasket onto the bottom of the toilet flush valve. Disassemble the inlet cover assembly by first removing the nut. Then press in the two tabs on the sides of the housing and remove the two halves of the cover. Carefully position the tank on the bowl as you feed the water supply hose through the hole in the top of the bowl. From behind the toilet, Slide the inlet cover nut over the water supply hose, flange end first. Then feed the water supply hose through the hole in the side of the bowl. Fit the inlet cover housing over the water supply hose and into the hole in the side of the bowl. Secure the inlet cover housing to the bowl by hand tightening the nut. Do not wrench tighten the nut. Fit the two halves of the inlet cover over the water supply hose and press them into the housing until the cover tabs snap into the housing slots. To ease reinstallation, note the position of the two colored buttons on the flush valve canister. Press in the tabs on the side of the flush valve canister. Disassemble the flush valve canister from the valve and remove it from the tank. Insert the tank bolts, metal washers, and rubber gaskets into the holes in the bottom of the tank. Use a Phillips screwdriver to secure the tank bolts to the bowl. Press the canister onto the valve so it snaps into place. Rotate the canister until the colored buttons are in the correct positions. Install the toilet T-bolts into the floor flange. Position the trapway on the floor flange and T-bolts. Use a pencil to mark the back hole location of the trapway on the floor. Remove the trapway 
and drill a 3 16th inch pilot hole at the marked location. Press a wax ring into the bottom of the trapway. Fit the trapway over the T-bolts and floor flange. Secure the trapway on the sides with washers and nuts. Secure the trapway at the back using the retaining screw. With assistance, carefully lift the toilet into position with the back raised in the air and the front edge of the bowl touching the edge of the tape. Then slowly lower the toilet into place over the trapway and brackets. Press down evenly on the toilet until it is flush with the floor. Do not move the toilet after this step unless you replace the wax ring. Remove the tape. Insert the screws and bushings into the holes and alternately tighten the screws a little at a time to secure the toilet. Press the screw caps over the screws and bushings so they are flush with the bowl surface. Connect the water supply hose to the supply stop. Remove the protective pad from the push button assembly located on the tank cover. Remove the large and small buttons from the housing. Position the tank cover on top of the toilet tank. Slide the green rod into the small hole in the housing and the black rod into the large hole. Use a pliers or wire cutter to cut the rods so they are parallel and even with the top of the housing. If the rod ends become oblong from being cut, squeeze the ends so they become rounded again. Remove the rods and press them securely into the push buttons. Press the push buttons into the housing until they snap into place. Open the supply stop valve. Flush the toilet several times using first one push button and then the other. Carefully inspect the toilet for leakage and proper operation. Check the tank water level and turn the fill valve adjustment screw as needed to adjust the water level to the water line mark. Apply a bead of caulking around the base of the toilet. Install the toilet seat according to the instructions included with the seat.